703. Uh, if everybody could stand to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining tonight. So, um, I'll go ahead and get started off. We have uh, exciting uh, donation presentations from our Heritage uh, Days event, which was a huge success. Uh, one of the most exciting pieces of that, we were able to give back to the communities with all the citizens and everybody that participated. We had two charitable um, uh, opportunities, and we were able to fulfill those both with uh, the Joy House and the Pickens County Animal Rescue. So uh, we would like to officially uh, provide you those uh, checks, and we'll do it with uh, a picture. So the first one we're going to start with is the Pickens Animal Rescue. Who, who's uh, coming up to get a picture with the, the council? Okay, and we're going to have the council come up here as well. Everybody's going to be in the picture. Steve. A little chaotic real quick. <laughs> Will be too much. <laughs> so they, they got you up here. I'm a man. Stacy. Stacy. Okay. You on the back row. You on the back row. Oh yeah. And uh, we're one of the smallest towns in the state of Georgia, but we have the biggest checks. There you go. Uh, so yeah. It's gonna be right here. Everybody say talking rock. There we go. Talking rock. Talking rock. Got it. One more. Oh, got it. No, 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 you get yours. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that we're able to, to give back to the, the animal rescue, so uh, we're excited for it. Thank you so much. I've got your real check around here somewhere. Oh, here you go. You can take that to the bank. And we had a great time. That's awesome. It was the best festival that we've been to. Oh, of our yes, it's yeah. great. Yeah. We appreciate it so much. The weather cooperated too. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Let's pray for next year to have that same yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. wonderful hot thing. So while she's fixing the check, I thought I'd just take it. So I'm a Talking Rock Boys. You guys may not know that, but the Joy House was really birthed on top of this hill. Wow. I was Talking Rock First Baptist Church my That's whole awesome. time growing up. Yeah. And I was part of the first Heritage Days that ever happened. We, our youth group uh, was part of the first one that ever happened. We were raising money to go on a mission trip. Oh my and wow. the Joy House was birthed out of talking about First Baptist Church, me yeah. yeah. being the youth pastor. Awesome. Yeah. 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 I'm Steve Loud. Steve James. Nice to meet you, James. All right. I don't have to cover One more. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. We're good. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Matt. Here you go. All right. Sir, the real one. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> right. Those are hard to cash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was uh, you know, it was really important on several events for Heritage Days to be not only successful, but what's important to me is that we can give back to our communities. And to be able to do those charities and, and give back, that, that was awesome. And I wanted to thank Mary for that to make sure that we ensured that we had those things that we look forward to doing it next year. And hopefully it's gonna be bigger checks. So awesome. yeah, and more water in the in the river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mary, Mary was mad at me, but I said, well, I see we'll get the old cops try. So we'll lower was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it'll be better next year. So Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, the next on the agenda is approving the October uh, 2022 meeting minutes. Do you have a motion to approve the meeting minutes for October? I make a motion that we approve the meeting minutes for October. All in favor? I second. I'm second. sorry. I second. Thank you. All in favor? That's unanimous. Uh, next on the agenda is October 22 financial report. We 
had our working group before this. Uh, there were no issues. I reviewed it when uh, uh, Dawn had sent it out. She's doing a phenomenal job breaking down each one of the expenditures, what money is coming in, what money is going out. A lot of this for the month uh, of October has to do with the closeouts of all the expenditures for Heritage Days. It's usually not this thick. Do I have a motion to accept the financial uh, report for the month of October? I make a motion that we accept the financial report for the month of October. Do have a second? Um, second motion. Second. All in favor? All right, it's unanimous. Okay. Uh, summary of maintenance. Jerry is not here. Jerry's not here. Okay. Uh, I have not heard any issues on maintenance. Looks good. Just been working on that. Just the bathroom. Yeah, we uh, for the for everybody's information, we had received uh, the partitions for the uh, restrooms uh, that was approved uh, based on the damages that we had a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. So we've got those in, and uh, Jerry's installing those as we speak. Uh, old business, uh, Heritage Days, I'll just turn it over. It's been a month and a week since we had Heritage Days, so I'll turn it over to Mary for any final comment. Oh, um, it, it was a success. We had great weather. We were able to do the duck race, um, <laughs> despite the low flow at work, uh, with blowers out there blowing those ducks down the, the river, the creek, and I'm very happy that we were able to uh, contribute to the local charities that do such great work. We had a phenomenal committee working on it. Um, the volunteers from around the community that pitched in to set things up as well. Um, we had probably a record number of booths set up. Um, I think there were about 60, 61 booths. We had a couple last minute cancellations due to unforeseen issues family emergencies and such, um, but we had phenomenal food vendors. One of our food vendors actually uh, participated in a, a barbecue cook-off event in Canton and took first place. Um, so we had award-winning barbecue up here, um, and it, it was a great event all around. A lot of lessons learned um, because this committee was a, a new committee for this event. Uh, none of us had participated in planning this particular event or any such event. Um, <laughs> we managed to do it and it turned out pretty good. I think we had a great attendance as well. Yeah, exactly. Mary is, you know, she was the she was the main focus of, you know, planning our Heritage Days and what was the, the great thing about this year and I'm not taking away from any of the other Heritage Days. They've been phenomenal in the past, and great citizens, great organizations have come together. What we wanted to do was just improve on what we had seen in the past and bring in new and bright ideas. And we chaired that off with Mary, and she brought in a volunteer staff that she was die hard on that. And it wasn't something she didn't procrastinate to. She was working this as soon as we had asked her to chair that off. We'd had meetings way back in the spring, if not earlier. So this was almost a year-long planning effort for her. You can see the success because of the new ideas from so many people, so many business owners. Um, and that's I think that's the most success, or the success that you get out of that is the efforts that everybody brought in. I was walking around the two days, hearing so many great compliments about what was there, you know the volunteers and how it helping out they really enjoyed and appreciated the parking how we brought the folks up to the event the music um, just so many great things uh, and it was a great lessons learned so now we know what we can build on what we can fix and what we can improve because it the heritage days I mean it is the backbone it is what talking rock is known for and it's an event that does take several, several months to plan to, to make it successful. 
And I just want to personally thank each and every person um, that donated their time because they did flawless efforts. They did uh, volunteering cleanups months before the event. Um, and they just really dedicated their time. And I just want to simply say thank you because it was phenomenal how you saw everybody come together. So great job on everybody on that. And so we look forward to doing it again next year, bigger and better. Okay, all right, so we'll go ahead and move into the new business. Uh, item A is the 2023 budget review. So during our working group today, we went over the proposed budget for 2023, and I introduced it to the council. The council had some inputs on some of the line items. But what we'll do is that we'll publish that in the local paper for 15 days. Uh, and that is 15 days, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so our next meeting is 1 December. So you can start mid-November, uh, which is next week. And then uh, we'll have a public hearing uh, for the 2023 budget at 5.30 on 1 December. And then we'll vote on it uh, at 7 o'clock uh, as our council meeting. And then the proposed budget takes effect 1 January. Okay. Any questions? All right. And we'll have that published here locally. Uh, and if you'd like to see the review, please email us. Uh, you can email the town clerks or myself, the mayor. All right. Uh, next line item is a Talking Rock property auction. Uh, so for the folks that are aware in this area, we have a utility truck. It's a, a white truck. You'd seen it. It was parked out by the dumpster for a couple years. Uh, we've moved it up onto the property that we own. Uh, we no longer need it. Uh, it's in dire straits. So we have spoke with our legal, and uh, we are going to verify uh, if we have tags, ownership, title, uh, once we clear all that out, we're going to publish uh, an auction for it. And uh, we'll talk about that. But I just wanted the townspeople to be aware of we no longer need the vehicle. We're going to prove or find proof that the vehicle is owned by the town. We're going to do everything we can to stage it uh, so we can go ahead and do an auction. And we'll determine what that auction will look like. Uh, but just wanted to make everybody aware of that. Any questions? Uh, next is our delinquent tax taxes. Uh, I'll turn this over to Don. Don has been working this digitally on uh, our delinquent taxes. It should be an update. Um, we're just uh, trying to get just a few eight or so towns uh, people that just overlooked it or haven't paid, and we're just going to try to get it all paid this year. Okay, that's it. That's it. Did you get in contact with all of them? <laughs> Pardon? Did you get in contact with all of them? Well, I s added it to their this year's taxes along with the letter regarding the um, interest and penalties and things like that. Was there anything that we neglected to do as a part of the town to get that information out to them? Was that an issue or it was just, in I, most cases, they just neglected to? Yeah, it wasn't, I don't, it wasn't ever, uh, it wasn't interest or penalties ever applied. And according to Daniel Reeves, who's the tax guy, I'm his tax commissioner, he said it's a law, Georgia law, to apply those penalties and interest. So. Okay, so we've identified uh, those individuals uh, that are delinquent, they'll be receiving uh, uh, the letter to outline what that is and hopefully get that squared away. Any questions about that? Okay. All right, next is uh, we have uh, uh, discussion. I, I need to change this as it says on the line item for voting for the Blackwater Station. We're not going to vote. Uh, we're not in a legal position to vote on that. So what we're going to allow is you to identify who you are and give an overview of your business. Uh, and then the council will have some questions about your proposed plan. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Can you stand up? Yes, ma'am, if you don't mind. You can come over here and make sure you're in front of that camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 
Well, I'm Michelle Godfrey. This is my husband, Adam. That's my, one of my children that's back, back there as well. He's here for the learning experience. Um, we both are born and raised here in Pickens County. We lived in Talking Rock for the last, I don't know, 20, probably 20 years. Um, we bought 4645 over here on 136, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's old building. Um, and our plan is to um, open up a retail space. Mainly we'll, you know, we'll be doing like architectural salvage and anything old. We love, we love all the old things, you know. Um, so antiques, architectural salvage. We specialize in stoves. Um, we, we would like to sell, we would like to do like wine slushies. You know, I think that would be a good compliment to the brewery. Um, I know there's a lot that goes into that, and you know, we've never owned a retail space. Adam is in farming, and I'm a full time realtor, so this is all very new to us. Um, so, you, we may need some guidance in that or some direction, and you tell us how to, you know, maybe you could help us tell us which way to go, which direction to go with that. I think it would be, like I said, a good compliment, but I also think it would, you know, increase foot traffic. I have a friend that does it in downtown Ella J, and it's been a good success for them. Um, Let's see, um, we're going to have local artists, vendors, um, we actually spoke to several people here that were at Heritage Days and, you know, um, some soap makers, um, maybe some painters and kind of a little bit of something for everybody, um, but we, we're going to specialize in the home, so, you know, beams and doors and old stoves. Um, Tubs and sinks. So, and so is, it, is it booth space when you go into your business? Um, you say you're working with the other local artists. No, the the local artisans are probably just going to be mixed throughout the store. It's primarily going to be antiques and old stuff. Okay. You know, and what we plan to do is kind of have like like um like stagings. You know, uh, like yes, you know right. what I mean, like a like an old sink with a bathtub and you know art to go along with it. You know, completely staged. Yes, you know, little bitty sections throughout the store. And have you did have you worked with public safety to look at the integrity of your building and septic and things like that? That was good. No. It's good? Yeah, it's good. He's had it. We've had some builders out there, you know, okay. so we had the office framed out on the inside and stuff like that. Had septic we are, checked. We're aware of the flooding that has happened. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how that affected um, your structure and then more importantly the septic systems because we have a systemic issue with our uh, septic services here in the downtown. We had the septic inspected and we had the structure inspected when we did, when we bought, when we purchased it. Okay. Yes. And uh, you're going to apply for an alcohol license? We're going to try to. We, I mean, we're completely blind in it, you know, okay. so I'm not, I mean, we're just starting from scratch, you know. And it's probably, it may not even be something we could do up front, but when I was, you know, registering our business with the with the state and doing like the Georgia sales tax, my CPA advised me to go ahead and, you know, because it asked if you're going to sell alcohol. She said, go ahead and click yes. But when I did that, it, it said you had to take care of the local jurisdiction first and all the stuff here. So I stopped that process to start this process, you know, to, and I didn't know, like, do you all have your own ordinances? Do you follow the county's ordinances? And yeah, well, we have a new alcohol ordinance. Okay. Relatively new alcohol ordinance. Okay. With the brewery and all that. So there is an alcohol ordinance that's local. Okay. Just an application you got to fill out that you're going to have to have before you go to the state. Or yes. Or yeah, it wouldn't let me continue yeah, until I got that information done. Local, local okay. Okay. So alcohol is going to be consumed on the premises as, um, as someone's walking around, or is it a segregated place? I'm open to whatever y'all think. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, whatever y'all think. I'm open to to Well, the ordinance in town is you can walk around okay. with alcohol, but if you're serving wine, I don't know that you're going to be wanting your wine glasses running around. Yeah. Town. Well, I'm not real fancy. <laughs> we don't have to have wine glasses. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are some of the things that, you know. But yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything that would prohibit you from us from. We plan, you know, we have three acres there. I mean, so we plan to utilize the space as much as possible. So we would love to have an area out behind the building that looks over the creek where people could sit, picnic tables, 
you know, to yes. welcome anybody and everybody. It's and already been talked about. Uh, Adam cleared out uh, yes. the area in front of the creek as you come down the road, and that. I can't tell you how phenomenal that looks. It's absolutely... Yeah. You're going to have to finish it up now. Yeah, now you want to finish it up. And we will. I mean, yeah, we, we're all about making... We want to make it look great. That looks so awesome. Now you see that we need water in the creek. We have water in the creek. <laughs> <laughs> but so we, that looks so... That just phenomenal, guys. We bought so the great. place in March, but we both work full-time, you know, so we, we've just kind of been trying to do it as we can, and... We had a big mess to clean up, you know, when we bought it, so we had to get a bunch of stuff out. And we're slowly trying to get some of our stuff in because a lot of the inventory we already have. We have four storage units and two tractor and trailers, and we've got stuff that in laws and, and here, there, and everywhere, you know. Um, so, but yeah, we, we definitely want to add value to the town, you know, we want to make it look good. So, I'm sorry, I just one more question. There's one little small building, you know the building I'm talking about. Are you moving that building out of the way or is that staying there? No, I think we're just going to fix it up. Fix it? And maybe on weekends, <laughs> uh, you know, if, if let's say uh, a local vendor wants local to rent it out, to come you know. In and put their stuff in there and open it up. Okay. We have some, yeah. some people that are going to make like um, customized jewelry on spot too. So we thought maybe we could do that in there as well. Okay. So your proposed business plan was just everything you could think of you threw into this document. Pretty much. I just wanted to give you all the information. Well, back to the alcohol then. Are you envisioning, you said slushies, but are you envisioning tastings and so, then selling bottles yes. from local yes. wineries? So we have or? met with Otts and Ella J. Um, Adam actually services their... Um, yeah, he works for them, spread lime on the vineyard and stuff like that. And they were excited to work with us. Um, I read in the county ordinances that you needed to be within a, a within the county to work with a vineyard within the county. Um, so, I mean, I didn't know if that was a rule. We would definitely reach out to other vineyards. But, I mean, it, it would be a small section of the store. Like, as soon as you walk in where the checkout counter was, right there on the left, that would probably be, like, the bar area. We wouldn't have bottles and bottles and bottles. I mean, we would like to, I think that for it to benefit the vineyard, we would probably have, you know, to offer it by the bottle, you know, but we would also like to sell it by the glass too. Are you envisioning only wine? Absolutely, yes. I don't want to get into anything other than that. Beer? No. Well, beer. Moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> no moonshine. Beer, wine only, no beer. <laughs> you want to you so we were also you had mentioned perhaps putting some things out in the lawn mm -hmm. oh yeah. can, can you elaborate on that yes bit, so we have a vendor up in is it Morganton the metal art yeah. yes I can't the place. we just know the owner but anyways it's basically metal art you know, have you seen like they'll be like you might see like it's like a chicken or it, it, it's all made out of metal. Well, oh, so it's not uh, vehicles. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Farm equipment. How no. big? Like little flowers or big, huge roosters? Pretty much all sizes. I mean, you know, like little bitty goats and and pigs and but sunflowers. There, and there's a business if uh, and I. I I'm not good at streets, but if you're in ball ground heading towards coming, you come to a four-way, there's an antique store right there on the right. Yeah. So 372. It has, there you go. It has <laughs> everything that she's talking about on the outside. Yeah. You've got the wind 20 chimes, and 372. you got the big roosters, some of them uh -huh. seem as tall as five feet. Yeah. I mean, anything you can possibly think of, they make it in the metal right. So right. that would be some of the things that we would... So how oh. do you keep that neat and tidy without getting the grass growing up in between? I, I know this, looking. you don't know us, but this man right here I'm is neat <laughs> and, and tidy. And I would, I would. I got some really old trucks, and I would like to. I this have way. a landscape out there in the corner and, and make a scene. With some old Almost drugs. like a welcome. We would like to do like a welcome yeah. to Talking Rock right it's there gonna on be, the corner. I was going to do some raised, you know, some elevated flower beds and, and so, bushes. Like so it. one of the things that we're working as a part of the town is is creating a town sign. So we're working with the company right now with a concept. 
but this is going to be pretty elaborate sign uh, stone. It's going to be a permanent sign that we want to put on that corner. We need to verify. Well, we need to verify what property lines are. If we have to go through um, uh, DOT. DOT, things like that. There's that church sign that we need to verify what property lines it's on. Um, so yeah, that's what we because that's the only place to put it. Right, yeah. and, and what, that's what I want to really landscape that and make it a whole thing. Okay. You know. Somebody, somebody would want to sit down and take the picture with. Sure. It. You know yes, what I mean. Okay. I mean that ties in with the sal uh, salvage and that yeah, concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the concern or some questions were we didn't want to be so. Uh, uh, I don't use the word like a junkyard. It looked like a junkyard, and people are stopping by and checking stuff. Definitely out. Definitely not a junkyard. Because mm -hmm. you have the fortunate. Your land is like the first thing you see, right. and you've already started improving on it. So I can, I'm pretty excited to well, see. Well, I know it don't look like it should, but we we've been focused on the inside of the store. Yeah, sure. So no, we, I, we had a lot of stuff. No, I totally yeah. believe that you guys are going to yeah. knock it out of the park, and it's it's going to tie in with the rest of our new businesses. Uh, we have a gentleman across the street, uh, Dusty, who is changing that building as well. So we're super excited. That basically is the front of yeah, the town absolutely. as soon as you see it. Yes. So having our permanent sign and your businesses, that's what we want to focus on. We want to improve and grow on a grand scale of that. So it invites people into Yeah, the people want to come down the road, they, they're going to need to want to turn it. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So that's kind of, that's what our vision is. Yes, it's going to be back up too. Yes, absolutely. Any other questions? We also, we... Adam specializes in um, a lot of antique farm equipment. We have an old cotton, is it a cotton picker? Cotton scale. And we have a, an, um, a steam engine that runs a grist mill. And we would love to be a part of the Heritage Days and bring that down into the, our lawn and run those things to where people could buy the, the mill right off as, as he does it, you know? So. Yeah, we, we ensure that we get buy-in from the business owners here as it relates to anything that focuses on downtown mm -hmm. because it's it's we want to ensure that they have a say and have their uh, ideas brought out so we'd like to invite you on that and every yeah. every business owner was involved in heritage days okay. so absolutely yeah we're excited about it like I said it's just we both work full time it's been a hard to get started but we're, we're getting, busy year. yeah, it's been a busy year. Yeah. We'll say it was a little busy this year. <laughs> Anything else? Is there any other questions? Have I, cleared every, have I cleared everything up? I just mm -hmm. want to make sure. What? Your proposal was very good. Thank so. you. When do you think you guys will be open? Spring? Summer? He says by the end of the open, year. I'm going to have it open by Christmas. Okay. Or by first of the year. Okay. Awesome. He's ambitious. <laughs> He's very ambitious. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if there's no other questions, thank you, Adam. Appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank so you. Look forward to it. Anything that we can do to help, please let us know. And then as far as do, do you all have to vote from here, is that how that works? So we just uh, you, You're covering every ordinance. We just need to make sure that, you know, your alcohol license, okay. we provide that to uh, the town okay. as well once you get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll so see. we're going to guide each other through that process, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. okay, perfect. So, uh, building permits. Yeah, I'll get her. Uh, the, the F, well, actually, I don't know about the building permit. If there's any additionals to the structure, things like that. Uh, sure. No, I don't know. No, I mean, we have to build a counter. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you know, yeah. stuff like that. If we're you're gonna, adding on second story, no, 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 out left, right. No. If, no, you, no. if you do have any questions, though, just reach I out mean, to Doug. We'll do a pat. We want to do the patio, yeah. but it's. I yeah. mean, I don't think we'll be adding any structure. No, anything that's permit that you need a permit for. Okay. You'll and I did let us know. the county. I did call the county, and she said something about a remodeling permit. So I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys know anything about that? Mm -hmm. no? Okay. You may want to get a remodel. It's more like a clean. So it was, this is more like a clean up than a remodel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, like a clean out. Yeah, we haven't really remodeled anything. I don't know, but I mean, we'll get whatever permit we need. So I mean, well, the only other thing I can think of is if you're going to have public restroom, you're serving wine. Mm -hmm. You'll have to get that approved. 
unless unless you already have by the county. A public restroom mm -hmm. approved. Okay. That your septic tank is approved. Okay. For. Okay. I know. I know, and you've already had it checked out, so they know what it is. You gotcha. just send them that information. Okay. Until uh, Denise down there. At yes. The environmental health. Yeah, we what have. She'll have to approve that. Okay. We had had a business plan in the past, and that pa and that plan had to be modified because that business wanted to provide food and drinks, right. and it, it wasn't adequate septic system. Gotcha. So. Okay. Okay. So I'll get with Denise on that. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Uh, next on the list, we don't have. We have Kylie Nunn. Who's Nunn? Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we've talked it to legal. If you want to give an overview of your business, um, she can provide some insight on some of the issues. Okay. That really fast. Might see. I'm sorry, Kylie. He said she no. She told me no. <laughs> and I told her no. He oh. can't do it today. Okay. And then. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so real quick. We had just talked. Sure. And, and let me say that. I'm sorry. I didn't have legal counsel at that moment. Do you want to, do you all want to move to amend the agenda to add this on as, as a new item on new business, just so it's on the agenda? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can do I that. I suggest yep. that. Yeah. Because this is just going to be an overview. This will give us. There's after after your presentation or just discussion. This opens up to a couple other questions that we we have to yep. verify. Okay. So basically, all I'm wanting to do. Just a second. We all. Someone's got to move. To yeah. move. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> can I? Can, do I have a motion to amend uh, tonight's agenda uh, to mm -hmm. add a uh, discussion for Ms. Kelly Nunn? I motion that we amend the agenda to add having none um, to new business. So, can I say it? Oh, do I have a second? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say it last time, so I didn't say it. I second. All in favor? That was unanimous. Who seconded it? Linda? Linda. Linda. Tell me you spoke out of it. Okay, we're good? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, um, my name is Kylie. I bought Hollyhocks. Um, I'm also a realtor with her and have three kids. And long story short, we don't have time to go around like the previous owners and get antiques and everything. So um, I have a few Airbnbs. Our original idea was to do a bed and breakfast. It's like nine bedrooms. Septic people came in. It's only stubbed for a three bedroom. So I'm not, back in the day, I'm not sure why they would do all that. So, long story short, um, if you've ever been in there, the lower level, there's like three rooms. And the upper level, there's four. And there's a full bath, and then there's a half bath downstairs. So I want to do a, basically a bed and breakfast, but it's going to be strictly one family. Um, no food. We're not going to be, it's not the traditional, it's more like a short-term rental. Um, whenever they're open, hopefully they do do breakfast and we can just push on y'all's way. So it's going to be a three bedroom rental upstairs, um, you know, six people. Downstairs we're going to have a kids area where, um, where you would check out the concrete. We're going to put like, you know, just a little play stuff for them to play. And then we're going to have a library um, in the Easter room where all the bunnies were and then just a formal dining area. And we will have like a, a small kitchen set up for if, you know, while they're there, they want to make something, that's fine. Um, but we're not going to be cooking. We're going to be pretty much hands off. Um, that's about it. So someone's permanently going to be in the residence at all no, times? No, okay. so it'll be a short term. It's basically like, um, is it First Street right behind us? So the White House in the middle, you know, that was for sale for a long time. I think your wife might have listed it. I don't know. But it's an Airbnb. It'll be pretty much very similar to that, except we'll have three bedrooms for whatever they have. So it's just like a night, like daily rental. Yeah, we so won't be there full time. It'll basically Airbnb. be an air. Yeah, basically similar to that. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
So that's, that's about. So the question is about the zoning for commercial. Did you say it's commercially zoned. It is. Okay. So I spoke with my lawyer, um, y'all's lawyer. He's one of my really good friends, and he said that it. With Jeff. No. Uh, no, sorry, no. I was going to. Okay. Him. Um, but I went there, and he said before I was tons of money trying to get lawyers involved in everything to just approach y'all and let y'all talk and get back with me. So what we would need to do is looking at, look at the zoning ordinance. Um, I don't believe, I'm not going to say with 100% certainty because I'm not staring at it right now, uh, I don't believe that short-term rentals are a permitted use under it, so it would potentially require some further application process. Okay. Um, like not be just permitted as a matter of right, but something that you would have to go through an application process for, which I know we do have variance application forms and things like that. But that's something that we can look at um, and get the information to the clerk so that it can be made available to you okay. on what the process would look like um, to get approval for something like that if it's not contemplated within your zoning. Okay. And that's within Talking Rock, or do I have to go through the county? No, that would be it Talking would Rock okay. zoning, because that's okay. it, yeah, it's, it's Talking Rock property. So okay. they're governed by their zoning. Um, we just have to look at the uses table and see if this falls within something permitted or if it would require an additional application okay. process. Okay. So can you provide a, a plan, an outline for yes. our town so the yes. council can review? Can we just email it to? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And then we'll have to once we get once legal reviews that because we'll just forward it to Jeff. Okay. Then we'll um, have to come back in and probably our next. I, I can't say if it's going to be the next one. We're three weeks out to our um, one, but once I find out from legal, um, as soon as you get that to us, then we'll be able to okay. move forward on that. Because that was some of the questions about being on the downtown street based on our current ordinance versus okay. commercial. And what's the actual address of the property? Uh, 19 Tolonga okay. Street. Perfect, thank you. Any other questions? Okay. 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 Thanks, Ms. Okay, okay uh, next on the agenda, Tony, any other uh, building inspecting? What about our situation that we voted on last week? Or last week? <clears throat> well, I can only speculate why I haven't heard from him. Okay. I think uh, it has to do with some engineering. Yeah. Okay, uh, awesome. Uh, I'll open up the room uh, for any questions, comments. We're good? Okay, awesome. Uh, great council meeting again. Wanted to thank uh, Animal Rescue and Joy House for coming and participating. Uh, appreciate all the presentations from the Godfreys and this and So, um, next uh, working meeting is one December. Again, we will uh, uh, publish uh, the 2023 budget uh, next week. That'll be 15 days before our working our public hearing will be at 5:30 on one December here, and then we'll turn right into our council meeting on the seventh. Okay. At 7 p.m. Yeah. Yes, 7 p.m. I'm sorry, I think about things as I talk. And then also, just a reminder, we have our celebration dinner on the 7th of December. Oh, well, that'll be the first I Okay, great. Anything else? I do have a motion to uh, end the meeting. I make a motion to adjourn. I'm sorry, adjourn. Yes. Is that a second? I'll second the motion. All in favor. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.